everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Hope everything's going your way today. Today, I'm coming to you with a haul video. Yes. Today, I'm going to be hauling for you all the things I got during the Sephora Appreciation Sale. Yes. We hauling out of control today. So, if you want to just hang out with me and see if I maintain control, a loss control. Then just keep okay, on everybody, you. let's get started. Man. Okay, guys, what well, There's absolutely zero time for small talk today, guys, because I'm really excited to get on with this here haul video. And while this Sephora haul may be too much for some, it's most definitely modest for Lily. And I really tried my best to stick with items that have piqued my interest for quite some time. But I didn't have it in me to pull the trigger at full price. Oh, yeah. I also decided to stick with items that have been tugging at me for quite some time. For which I could no longer put up a fight. And while this haul may be a short clip for me, it's gonna most definitely be a short film for some. So, yeah. Now's a good time, guys, to go grab yourself a snack. So go ahead and get you some Doritos, some Funyuns, some Takis, a Twizzler, some peanuts, some popcorn, a Sprite, a Coke, coffee, a tea, some water, a Gatorade, definitely an energy bar, maybe breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Because I have a feeling that this haul here is about to be a bond murder. So let's get started. Okay, guys, and for my drink of choice today... I have um the Gatorade Fierce, Bold, and Intense Thirst Quencher in the um, flavor melon. Mm -hmm. And yes, I sip it through a straw. Because, yeah, um, I feel like with these personal summers I've been having going on, your girl Lily's been awfully thirsty lately. And I'm not much of a fan for water. So, yeah, if I'm going to get my electrolytes up, it's most definitely got to be Gatorade. So I'm just take a couple sips right quick, and then we're gonna get started with this here video. Okay, guys, let's get into this video. Okay, guys, all my goodies are contained within this one box right here. So, yeah, it shouldn't really take me that long to show you guys my piece what I got. So, I won't be going to any particular order. We just gonna start. Okay, guys, the first couple things I'm gonna show you are actually fragrances. And the first fragrance that I have is by Nest. I've got the Nest Dahlia Vines Eau du Parfum. Guys. This perfume has been on sale on the Sephora site forever. And I prayed every night that it would still be on sale and on the site mm -hmm, when the Sephora event hit. And yes, it has been out of stock for, sh for shipping for quite some time. But luckily, mm -hmm, they had one available at the Sephora in my town. So needless to say, your girl lucked up. Guys. Look at this bottle. Do you see this bottle? This bottle is so stinky crew. Mm -hmm. It's a nice thick glass bottle. It's black on the back and it says nasty. Nice. Yeah, you can see the flowers through the perfume. And guys, when I say that this is a great uh, scent profile, this is a great scent profile. Let me see if it's going to show the notes right quick because I don't really remember what the notes are. But yeah, mm -mm. I'm just going ahead and put the notes on the screen somewhere. But I can tell you this, guys, uh, it, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of goodness, guys. Woo, mm. guys. Honestly, guys, this reminds me just a little bit, not much, but it does remind me a little bit of the Jimmy Choo. You can definitely smell some floral notes. It's got some fresh notes in there too, guys. Yeah. This fragrance mm, is the bomb.com. Oh, yes. It's the bomb.com. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your girl lucked up. I got this. 
Okay, guys, in the very last fragrances I'm going to show you are actually part of a set. I got the replica Mason Margiela Paris mini coffee set. Guys, I have heard nothing but great things about these fragrances. Um, And I actually got two of these, one for me and one for my mom. And my mama something like a perfume kind of sore. And she loves every single fragrance in here. So, five come in the set. Um, this one is Beach Walk. This one is Jazz Club. And I know for a fact, these are the two that people buy the most. Like, these have been in the rave on the two for a while. This one is Lazy Sunday Morning. This is like a linen scent. This one is by the Fireplace, which is a spicy type of scent. And then this one is Bubble Bath, which is definitely supposed to remind you of a bubble bath. So, yeah. Um, let me just go ahead, because I have not smelled them or anything. Let me just go ahead and smell one or two of them for you guys, my peeps, right quick. Okay, guys, and even for a mini set, these little bottles, they are so stinking cool. So, yeah, this one is Beach Walk. Oh, oh guys. Mm-hmm. This smells so stinking good. And I do know most of the scents are unisex, unisex, which they could be um feminine or masculine. Guys, oh, this smells really good. I mean, if I had to describe it, it does remind you of a beach walk. It's like real fresh. It reminds you of the sea being on the beach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is bomb.com. And then this one is actually Jazz Club. And I've been dying to try this fragrance because. It does describe itself as a masculine fragrance, but I mean, I know women that uh, have been wearing this, so let me smell it right quick. Oh, guys. Mmm. You know what this scent reminds me of? This reminds me of like a scent that you would go to like the jazz kitchen or something like that. This is definitely a grown and sexy scent. Guys. Mm, and this does, it smells like this could be worn by um, a man or a woman. This, this is both masculine and feminine. So yeah, those are the two ones I have been dying the most to sniff. So yeah. And now this one is Lazy Sunday Morning. And I do believe they said this is supposed to smell like fresh linen. Oh, guys. Mm-hmm. This most definitely smells like a lazy Sunday morning when you have washed all your um, you have washed all your bed clothes and you have gone on ahead and put them on your bed, take you a nice uh hot bath or shower, and wrap up in them nice and cool on a um nice Sunday or off day. That's exactly what this smells like. This smells this smells good as all get out. And now this one is by the fireplace. And I think this is more like a woodsy type of smell. That's what I've heard people say. Oh. Guys. Oh, this smells really good too. And I'm going to tell you guys, none of these smell the same. I mean, they all smell different within their own right. This does, this has a nice woodsy, like spicy, musky type of scent. This is something that you like to wear on like a cool evening, something like that. But yeah, this smells good too. And this very last one is bubble bath. So yeah, let me see what this smells like right quick. Oh, guys. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Guys. This right here. This is definitely a nice, clean type of scent. I do see why they call it bubble bath. It doesn't smell powdery, nothing like that. And all of these smell grown and sexy. They do not smell off-putting in any way. And they smell quite expensive, guys. I mean, and these full-size uh, fragrances are like $133. So, I mean, it's definitely worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make a decision, guys. I might get the full size of one of these before um the event ends. Cause yeah, these are the bomb.com. And sets like these are really nice to invest in because it seems like you do get quite a bit of product in here. So yeah, and this is just a nice way, you know, to try high-end fragrances. So yeah. 
I got this. Okay, guys, the next few things I'm going to show you are actually complexion products. And the first item I'm going to show you is actually by LYS, a.k.a. Liz. I got the LYS Beauty Triple Fix Serum Foundation. And I got mine in the shade TN6. Guys, um, your girl looked up. Because there are a lot of these shades that are um currently sold out. So I figured, um, yeah, um, tan neutral six, um, th that might work out for me. Guys, first of all, let's look at this bottle. This bottle is so stinking cute. It's like a frosted glass bottle. It's got a rose gold top. It comes with a pump. Yeah, guys, yes, yes. So, yeah, this is nice, guys. I'm not going to swatch it or anything like that because I feel like I'm going to just go ahead and probably put this in my shop, my stash, because this has been all the rave out um, here on the tube. It's supposed to give you a natural finish. Yeah. And serum foundation, honestly, serum foundations, these work well for um uh, my grown and sexy beauties, like my older beauties, like, like me. So, yeah, uh-huh. This right here. Uh -huh. I can't wait to use this. I really was hoping I could get like uh, the bronzer or the blush. I was hoping they would be back in stock by the event, but no. Uh, yeah, that stays sold out. So, yes, I'm glad I got this and I can't wait to use it. Next. Okay, guys, the next thing I got is actually a foundation stick. And it's by Huda Beauty. I got the Huda Beauty Fall Filter skin finish and i got mine in the shade churro 415n guys now this is one of her newer shades and i watched samantha jane and a lot of her shades are my shades and this is the shade that she used but when i took a good look at this guys i mean i feel like she might be just a little more tan than me so let me just show you what it looks like right quick Okay, guys, it comes in this very beautiful tool. It says Huda Beauty. Mm -hmm. And it looks just like, okay, her standard packaging. Okay, guys, and then here's the foundation stick right here. And you get quite a bit of product, I think, guys. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to roll it all the way up, but even rolling this up, it's still some left. So, yeah, I mean... This looks like, this might be like my super duper summer shade, like my summer summer shade, okay? So, you guys already knew, no, um, I, I'm not going to return it. I'm going to make it work because you know, mm -hmm. I love my fellow man too much, you know, to be returning makeup during a Ponderosa. So, yeah, uh, I've heard good things about it, so yeah. I got this. Okay, guys, the next foundation that I got is actually the TikTok Balm. No pun intended. I got um the KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. And I got mine in the shade 1060. Guys, this is another one that stays sold out. So... I found a couple of shade references on the tube, and it seems like um, T60 might work out for me. So, yeah. And I know you guys, my peeps, have already seen a million videos out here on the tube about this foundation bomb. But entertain me for a moment. Guys, this is a pretty compact. So, yeah. It has KVD Beauty. has beautiful designs around there. On the back... It lets you know all the deets. And let's see what it looks like on the inside right quick. And then when you open it up, it exposes the bomb. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. That shade's going to work out for me just fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I had told myself and I had told my girls that I was not going to fall for the hype. And I was not going to get this on foundation bomb, but yeah. For some reason, guys, FOMO told me otherwise. So, mm -hmm. I got this. 
Okay, guys, the very next thing that I got is actually a setting spray. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Guys, now I've heard nothing but great things about this setting spray, and I've been wanting to try it for a long, 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 long time. But uh-uh, for some reason, it never goes on sale on Charlotte Tilbury's site. Yeah, they, they, her, her products, yeah, they never go on sale on Ulta, so you can hang that up. And yeah, I mean, I just didn't want to pull the trigger at full price, so I figured now's the time to do so. It comes in this pretty sleek bottle, I mean, but it's Charlotte Tilbury. What can you expect? What can you expect? And, of course, it comes with a pump. I mean, nothing special, okay, just a standard pump. So let's see how it sprays, though. Okay, guys, I mean, that's not a bad little spray right there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and it smells so stinking good. Mmm, not as perfumey as the Gucci, but it definitely smells uh, quite expensive. So, yeah, I mean, I heard it does keep your makeup, you know, makes it last all day. Mmm, yeah, and it smells really good, guys, so, yeah. I'm glad I got this. And I can't wait to use it. Next. Okay, guys, the next couple things that I got are actually blushes. The first one that I got is the Marc Jacobs Air Blush Soft Glow Duo. And I got mine in the shade 504 Kinky Kisses. Guys, now I have already three of these, I believe. Maybe three or four. I have all of them except for this one, I believe. Yeah, I figured, I mean, why not go ahead and just complete my collection? And I'm quite a fan of the formula. Now, I will say this. Mark Jacobs, I mean, I really wish that, uh, yeah, he would do a little bit better when it comes to inclusivity. Because, yeah, all my, um, you know, darker skin beauty deserve to feel this formula. So, you know, it does have, you know, the standard Marc Jacobs expensive packaging. It comes with the sleeve that says Marc Jacobs on nail. And then here's exactly what the blush looks like. It's a nice pink and peachy type of blush. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not tripping. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you right quick. This is what it looks like. And let's see. Oh, yeah. That's a nice baby pink shade. Okay, guys, here's what it looks like. You know what it reminds me of, guys? It reminds me a lot of Pink Dahlia. Pink Dahlia from Cover FX. Okay, guys, so yeah. Now, if we can only get these brands to work a little bit more inclusivity, mm, he'll definitely be cooking with gas. So I got these. Okay, guys, and the next blush that I got is actually from the Sephora collection. I got the Sephora Colorful Matte Blush. And I got this one in the shade Soja. And this one is a pretty pinky one as well. It comes with a tiny mirror right here. And then here's what the shade looks like. So it's almost like a peachy pinky type of shade, if you will. And you have to be really careful, guys, because for some reason, it's only sitting in the pan. It's not like it won't stay in the pan. Like, if you turn it upside down, it will come out. Okay, guys, so here's what this shade looks like. It's a very soft pink. But I can tell that they're buildable. I do love Sephora blushes, so yeah. And I have plenty of coral blushes. I mean, more corals than I need. I probably got more pinks than I need now while I think about it, but mm -hmm, I got these. Okay, guys, the next couple things that I got are actually bronzers. And the first one I got is, again, by Sephora Collection. I got the Sephora Bronzer Face Powder. And I got mine in the shade Los Cabos. Now, guys, I do have another one of these. 
And I don't remember what shade it's in, but it's definitely not Los Cabos. It's a little bit deeper. But this is what um, Los Cabos looks like. And now that I look at it, guys, I mean, this looks like it might be a little light for me. So, yeah. Let's just see, though, guys. Let's just see. Okay, guys, I mean... It seems like it might be a little bit buildable. I mean, this might be a, a winter bronzer for me. Okay, guys. Yeah, th there it is right there. It's a very subtle bronze, guys. Very subtle bronze. But what I like about the Sephora bronzers is they pull neutral. Like, they don't pull too warm. Don't pull too cool. They pull just right. So, yeah, I mean... I'm still going to try it. I mean, I'm sure I can make it work. But most definitely, yeah, not 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 during those, uh, the time of the year when my um, skin is quite tan. But this definitely will work for me in the winter. So I got these. Okay, guys, and the very last bronzer that I got is actually by Dior. I got the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. And I got mine in the shade... Six N, and I'm assuming the N stands for neutral. Now I really wanted five N, but five N stays sold out. So I figured I'd go ahead and take a chance <laughs> on the N six because I'm sure by the time um, N five comes back um, in stock, the sales gonna probably be over, and I'm not paying full price for this. So here's what it looks like. You've got. Of course, the nice Dior writing on the front. I mean, yep, this is good in plastic. This is actually the same kind of packaging as um the highlighting quads, if you will. Uh-huh, this got, you know, it's got the information and the deets on the back. When you look at the imprint, it does have Dior embedded on the inside. And guys, this looks like this might be a nice shade for me, right? But let's just check. Oh, this feels so stinky smooth. Now, this can actually be used as an all-over face powder, too, for my darker tone beauties. And then they do have lighter shades that I would have been able to use for a face powder. But I didn't get it for that purpose because I already have plenty of face powders. Oh, God. This is what this shade looks like. Oh, yeah. That looks nice and warm. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's going to bronze me up real nice for the spring and summer. So, yeah. And, guys, it feels so smooth. And if you look at it real closely, it is not matte by any means. It has sort of a sheen to it. Not a shimmer. Nothing like that. But, yeah, definitely not a flat matte. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got this. Okay, guys, and the next product that I have is actually a powder foundation. I got the Vendi Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And I got mine in the shade 310. Okay, guys, and this is another product that I held out. I held out as long as I could because I refused to pay full price for it, even though this has been all the rave on the tube. This has gotten rave reviews. Yeah, I mean, at 20% off, I figured I might as well try it. Right? Okay, guys, as you guys already know, it's got, you know, the standard fancy packaging. Like all her other compacts do. It's got the full-size mirror. It comes with a sponge, which I'll never, ever use. And then here's the foundation powder. Oh, guys. This, this is a nice shade. Now, I do wear 310 in her um, regular foundations. And I find that um, with some brands, the powder is sometimes a little bit off from the liquid. But no, this seems like this is going to be a nice shade for me. And as you see, it's got the Fenty Beauty imprint in there. So, yeah. This is real nice, guys. I figured I would get this um, to use during the warmer months. Especially since, I mean, I'm not really going anywhere, but I do sometimes like to walk around the house looking put together. <laughs> Just because I love makeup. 
So yeah, um, I'm looking forward to using this for sure. Okay guys, the next thing that I got is actually a skin tint. I got the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. And I got mine in the shade 12. Guys, now this is yet another product that I told myself that I was absolutely, positively not going to buy. So much that my girl KK, aka Colorful Camille, and my girl DJ, aka Just PGD here on YouTube, purchased this skin tint. I made fun of them like it was no tomorrow. Like it was no tomorrow. But then, something happened. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I saw them use it. They looked absolutely gorgeous, absolutely glowing. Their skin looked absolutely perfect. They looked so summery and fresh. Mm-hmm. They were beautiful. I mean, so once I saw the evidence, your girl just had to get it. So, I, I, I mean, I know you guys have seen it. A million times on the toolbar already because your girl Lily's late to the game. Well, let me just still show you right quick. Okay, guys, so, yeah, it, it doesn't look like as much in here, okay? It, it's a real tiny little bottle. But, yeah, so it, it's still sleek and it's still cute. And when you open it up, of course, it has, like, the squeezy tool, which is just fine, guys. Because it seems like, it seems like, you know, it has a little bit of give. Not too much as you'll make a mess, but it has a little give. And I currently really only have two high-end um, products of this nature. I've got the It CC Cream and the It Skin Tint. And I also have the NARS. And I absolutely love those. So I figured what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this. And I'll probably on days when I want more coverage um, put the um, Fancy Beauty powder foundation on top of it. And I, I'm sure that's going to give me a nice, pretty look. So, yeah. Needless to say, guys, your girl, A. Crow, I got these. Okay, guys, now on the lips. The first couple lip products that I have are also by Fancy Beauty. I got the Fancy Beauty Gloss Bomb Cream Double Take lip duo and these are in the shade bubble binge and cupcaking guys now when i saw this um on the sephora site when i saw that it hit and launched i was like girl you're really pushing it okay because as soon as that sephora sale hit People are going to be trying to snatch it up like hotcakes because yeah, th 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 this is a bomb.com formula. And I do have her other um shades in this. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely had to get these. And what I really love about this duo is these are actually the full size. So, yeah. Now, this first one is cupcaking. Now, this actually looks more like a peachy nude, if you will. But let's just check right quick, though. Oh, guys, this is a pretty pink. Like, that is a pretty nude. Mm-hmm, guys. And yes, it smells so stinking good, just like all of Fenty's other um, lip products. Oh, yeah, and that's quite okay, guys. And now this is Bubble Binge, and this looks like um, a shocking pink, okay? So it's going to be real interesting to see how pigmented this one is, though. <gasps> Guys. Guys. This is a pretty shade, too. Oh, yeah. That's most definitely mm -hmm, a hot girl summer pink. Okay, I mean, that's pink as my shirt. Oh, yeah. This is really cute. So, yeah, guys, yes, yes. And this was um definitely at a discount to get the tool. Yeah. And they smell so stinking good. So, yeah. I got these. Okay, guys. And because your girl Lily loves them just that much, I actually got a couple more of the Kaja Airheart Natural Finish Lipstick. And I got mine in the shade Baby Girl. And... 
sweetheart. Now, I do have other kaja lipsticks in my collection, but they're like darker nudes. And I do like nudes that'll give me like a nice uh, pop, pout in my inner lip to make them look a little bit fuller. And not to mention, guys, I mean, the packaging is so stinky, girl. Shaped like a heart. Okay, guys, and yes. Nice and cute, shaped like a heart. So this first one here is Baby Girl. Oh, guys. And they feel smooth and creamy as all get out. And that's a nice peachy nude right there. And this one is actually Sweetheart. Now, the strange thing about it is when you look at them, they look like they might be almost like the same shade, but no. I'm sure they're a little bit different. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. This pulls a little more peach, and this one pulls a little more pink. And, guys, do you see the opacity? These lipsticks are opaque as all get out. And I feel like these are the kind of lipsticks that you can wear without even putting on a lip gloss. So, yeah. And, you know, during the times that we're in, you know, people aren't really wearing glosses like that. I mean... I still do, but a lot of people feel like they're uncomfortable, and I totally get it. So if you're someone who likes creamy lipsticks, I would most definitely recommend these. I mean, I have not found a shade of this that I don't like. So, yeah, I got these. Okay, guys, and I actually got four of the Milk Makeup lip colors. So I got the shades Hype. Wavy, New Whip, and OG Red. Guys, now I have seen and spotted um, some Milk Makeup lipsticks in the Marshalls and TJ Maxx, but mm -mm, I've not spotted these colors though. Um, I've only spotted colors or shades that I already have, so yeah. And I do quite enjoy Milk Makeup's formula. They're another formula that's not so matte. It, it's almost like a satin finish. They're pretty creamy too, guys. So, yeah. It has the same sleek packaging as the Milk Makeup Lip Balms. And this first shade right here is actually high. Now, that's a pretty, like, I don't know how to describe it, guys. It's almost like a nude fuchsia. I mean... If that was a thing. So, yeah. But let me slide you right quick. Okay, guys. Yes. It's like... It's like... It is a fuchsia, but not really a shocking fuchsia. Fuchsia. That's a, a wearable type of fuchsia, if you will. And now, this one is actually New Whip. And, guys. This is almost like... A chocolatey type of shade but it looks like it might have a little bit of red undertone mm-hmm yep yeah so it's almost like a real dark merlot type of shade mm-hmm that's real cool and now this shade right here is actually wavy so this looks more like a milk chocolate type of shade with just a hand of peach in it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. It's definitely a chocolate, but it does pull slightly peach. Ever so slightly. But it's a pretty color. And this very last shade here is OG Red. Guys, now this looks most definitely like a blue blue base red. There is not any orange in this one. This is strictly red, for sure. Oh yeah. Guys, yes. Absolutely, positively, mm-hmm. Definitely a nice, bright, blue base red. So, thank you, girl. So I most definitely love these shades and this formula. And I can't wait to use them. Next. Okay, guys. And I had yet one more blush hiding in my heart arsenal. 
And this is by Mel Cosmetics. I got the Mel Cosmetics blush. And honey thing. Guys, now, I'm not new to Mel Cosmetics formula for their blushes. I do have one other blush by them. And it's Cali Dream, which is like this pretty, like light, soft, peachy shade. And what made me get this one is I actually saw um, Kinky Sweat show this in one of her videos and she applied it. And this looks absolutely gorgeous, guys. Now, while this shade does have a little peachy undertone to it, it's most definitely more so of like a peachy new type shade. And guys, if you have never tried a melt blush and you love blushes, yeah. This is a nice formula. So, this is what this one looks like. So, yeah, while you do see a little bit of peach, maybe a little bit of pink, yeah. This is a this is a shade that I currently do not own in my collection. Because it's like, I just can't describe it, guys. It is a nude, but it like has peach and nude undertones all at the same time. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm glad to have it, and I can't wait to use it. Okay, guys, and I actually decided to take the plunge and go ahead and try out one of Natasha Denona's Chromium Liquid Eyeshadows. So, the one that I got is actually in the shade Dog Bang. Guys, now, I had told myself that I was not going to uh, get this because... Yeah, I'm just not into liquid eyeshadow like that. I have plenty of them. I don't use them. But yeah, I mean, this shade was cute. And I figured that this would be something nice, you know, to use just when you're quick and on the go. Just throw this on your lid. Maybe throw, throw on a wing and you done. So, I mean, there's hardly any product in here, guys, okay? Hardly any product. But like you guys see right there. It looks a little bit burgundy, if you will. But, to me looking at it, it looks like a greenish blue. Yes, guys, so right here you can see a little bit of the burgundy. But as I tilt it, you can most definitely see gold and blue. Oh, yeah. Let me just go ahead and swatch it for you right quick, though. Okay, guys, yeah, so, mm-hmm, see that, guys, that's a nice ship. So, you see the green going into the blue, then you see, like, the gold going into the burgundy, so, yeah, that's real nice, guys, yeah, that, 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 that's real cute, so, yeah, I mean, while I absolutely didn't need this by any stretch, I mean, I thought it was interesting, and I was just really dying to try it, so, I mean, why not just go ahead and try it when you can get it at 20% off? So yes, I got this. Okay, guys. Now the part that everybody came here for. Pallies. Okay, guys. The very first palette that I got was for no other reason than your girl Lily couldn't shake it. And it's by Tarte. I got the Tarte. Tarly Juicy Palette. Guys, now, I have seen a million videos out there on the tube, yeah, showing this palette, and when I look at it, guys, I mean, it, it, it's got it, it's got a very cute packaging, okay, um, it says Charlotte on the front with these pretty um, trees, okay, with the falling leaves, and yes, I mean, it's got a full-size mirror, uh -huh, which, which is a very nice touch. And when you open it up, guys, here are the colors. Now, this is definitely like a pinky neutral palette. And yes, I'm sure I've got these shades about 10 or 20 times over in my collection. But it's something about this palette, guys. It's something about this palette that has had a grip on me since it first came out. I mean, I I, I, tr I, I, I try 
tried to talk myself down several times. And I was quite successful because this palette has been out for a minute. And the fact that I talked myself down till now, yeah, that's saying a lot. But at the end of the day, guys, mm -hmm. yeah, the Juicy Palette won this fight. So, yes, I mean, I might as well go ahead and swatch a couple shades for you right quick. I mean, why are we doing it? Okay, guys, and they feel nice and smooth, like, you know, Tarte's palettes do. I mean, Tarte does not have a bad formula by any stretch. I mean, I think the only palette that I've tried by them that really had me, like, kind of underwhelmed was the Toasted Palette. But then that's an unpopular opinion because a lot of people like it. So, yeah. Okay, guys, here's what a few of the shades look like. I mean... Nothing special, nothing unique. And here are what the swatches look like. While they are quite nice shades, I mean, still nothing special, nothing unique, nothing that we've never seen before. But yeah, I just feel like this is such a girly, pretty, nice spring palette to use. And you already know, okay, pink is my favorite color. So, yeah, I mean, I'm still glad that I got it. I'm glad I finally took the plunge. I mean, I'm glad I was able to do it at 20% off. Because, yeah, if I had to pay full price for this palette, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But, I mean, the 20% off, yeah. It most definitely helped out. Okay, guys, the very next palette that I got is actually by Mel Cosmetics. I got the Mel Cosmetics. Mary Jane Powell. Guys, now this time last year, they came out with another herb based palette called the 420 palette. And guys, that palette, mm -mm, it, it left me quite overwhelmed, quite disappointed. Yeah. Mm -mm. Loki wishing I'd have never bought. Now, this time last year, they came out with yet another herb-based palette called the 420. It was like a green color story. <laughs> and that palette, mm -mm, it left me quite underwhelmed, quite disappointed, wishing I'd have never ever bought it. So I figured this may just be a redeeming moment for male cosmetics. So here's what this palette looks like, guys. Do you see that packaging? This packaging is so stinking curl. And on the inside, it has little bitty, um, like confettis in there. And guys, they actually move. I mean, you can't really see it. But yeah, that's cute. And just like Mel Cosmetics other palettes, it does have, um, you know, the full length mirror. Ooh, guys. And when you open her up, guys. Here are the colors. Guys, now this is quite a nice cool tone color story. Oh, yeah. I like these, okay? I like them a lot. And as you see, okay, just like like quite a few of Mel's other powers, like the Smoke Sessions and the 420, you see, on the mats, it does have, you know, the imprint of the herb leaf, okay? So, yeah, guys, yeah, this palette is real cute, and I don't think it's really translating on camera that much, but this is a pretty color story. So, let me just go ahead and swatch a couple of them for you, my peeps, right quick. Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh, guys. Okay, guys. Um, The mats seem like they're going to be the bomb.com. Um, but as for a couple of these shimmer shades, they seem a little bit suspect. So, here's what these shades look like. Now, this shade right here, yeah. Um, This is quite hard-pressed, guys. But it looks like a pretty dual chrome shade. So, let me just watch it for you guys right quick. Okay, guys. 
Okay, guys, so here's what these shades look like. Now, as you see, this shimmer right here, this one is pigmented as all get out. Okay, that's cute. But this one right here, that's more of a type of shade. That did almost nothing. So, and the mattes, I mean, they seem like they have a little bit of promise. But, I mean, who can mess up a neutral matte? Yeah. And this one, I mean, while it did pick up a little bit better than this shade, not by much. So, yeah. I mean, I use glitter glue anyway, so I'm sure that it will be just fine, you know, if I use a very dense brush. Yeah. I mean, I, I still believe in this palette. I mean, I'm not going to throw the baby out with the bath water just yet until I use um the palette, guys. But we'll see, guys. We will see. Okay, guys, the next couple palettes that I got are actually by Violet Voss. The first one I got is the Violet Voss Tie-Dye 4 Palette. Guys, now, for some reason, I didn't even know that this palette was out. I mean, quite frankly, guys, I have been trying my hardest to stay off the Sephora site, you know, until the um Sephora event came along. Because, yeah, I mean, I go on that um site, and every time I go on that site, I'm tempted to buy something. Mm -mm. But I decided I would wait. So, here's what the packaging of this palette looks like. Real cute packaging, guys. Says tie-dye for Violet Voss. Very bright tie-dye. Boy, wait. What's on the outside of the palette is not half as gorgeous as what's on the inside of the palette. It's got a full-size mirror, okay? Says Violet Voss right there. And when you open her up, guys, here are the colors. Would you look at them? Would you look at them? Would you look at them? Guys, now this one, I mean, this is more like a summer palette, but I totally use it in the spring. I mean, you know me. I use this in the fall and winter too. So yeah, it's got a nice ratio of shimmers to mattes, I feel. And the good thing about this palette is not only does it have these nice bright shades, but you actually have some neutrals in there. So like, if you're going on like a summer holiday, mm -hmm, this seems like a nice palette to go ahead and take with you. Now let me go ahead and swatch a, swatch a few shades for you right quick. Oh yeah. Guys, 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 here's what these shades look like. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty pigmented. Oh, do you see this shimmer? Do you see this shimmer? Okay, guys, this looks like this might need to be built up. And this one too, but that is nothing uh, that the uh, that my uh, P. Louise base can't fix, so I'm not worried about that. But guys, that's cute. Let me just see if I can build this um, corally shade up right quick for you guys, though. Okay, guys, yes, they build up real nicely. So yeah, uh huh, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm quite excited to have this palette. Yeah, I can't wait to use this one. And I overall like Violet Voss's formula, so I didn't think I'd be disappointed. So, yeah. I got this. Okay, guys, the very last Violet Voss palette that I got was for no other reason than your girl Lily couldn't shake it. Is the Violet Voss I Love You Cherry Munch palette. Guys, now... When she showed the release of this palette on IG, people were dragging this palette in the comments. You know, they were saying stuff like, the design looked like a child did it. It looked like an art project. Didn't look expensive at all. It looked cheap, things like that. But I guess I'm not a popular opinion because, I mean, I absolutely love the design of this palette. I mean, this uh, design is no different than the Sakura or the Coral Crush palette. I mean, it's the same thing to me, guys. And I like it, okay? It's got the little raised cherries on there. I mean, 
when I see this palette, it just makes me happy. And I mean, but what's going on in this world today and during these trying times? I mean, makeup can't always be serious. So yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's pretty cute. And then when you open up the palette, it has, you know, the full size mirror like her other palettes do. It says, I love um, you cherry much right underneath, okay? And when you open it up, guys, here are the colors. Now, people were also dragging the color story of the palette, saying that Violet Voss came out too late with this color story. It's so yesterday. And I mean, okay, this color story is nothing special, nothing unique, nothing we haven't seen before. But I do like it. I mean, I like all these shades in one palette. And people said they don't understand why she called it a cherry. Uh, I love you cherry much palette if it was neutral. But I mean, I feel she's got enough red in it, you know, to call it I love you cherry much palette. I mean, I see a lot of red base shades in here. I mean, but let me go ahead and do a couple swatches for you guys right quick. Okay, guys, and yes, this is most definitely Violet Voss's formula. Oh, yeah. I can tell these shades are buildable. Oh, yeah. And these shimmers, they're quite nice, guys. Okay, guys, and here's what a few of the shades look like. And even looking at this shade, even though it's a chocolate shade, and this is called Chocolate Sh Cherry, you do see it pulling a little bit red. I mean, yeah, to me, I mean, this is more than enough shades in a palette mm -hmm, to call it I Love You Cherry Much. And guys, I can see, th th this is a color story. Th th this will turn out some bomb.com eye looks. And yes, I know this is nothing special, you know. Nothing unique. Nothing we haven't seen before. But I'm glad to have all these shades in one color story. This will be a nice travel palette. Mm -hmm. It can go from day to night in a flash. So, yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm sure that this palette's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Trust me. I get it. But as for me, guys, when it comes to this palette, I wanted it. So, I got it. Case closed. Okay, guys, the very next palette that I got is actually by Marc Jacobs. I got the Marc Jacobs Iconic Glambition Palette. Guys, now, this palette is nothing special. Not at all. It's actually quite the neutral palette, guys. I mean, it looks like Marc Jacobs, you know, palettes do. Very sleek, very luxe. Has a full size mirror, like all of his iconic palettes do. Very sleek, very luxe. It has the sleeve that says Marc Jacobs, okay? Like they all do. Very sleek, very luxe. And then when you look at the palette, here is the palette. Now, guys, okay, th there's absolutely nothing special about this palette, but I feel like I really do love his formula. And I mean, I do do the new, the, the, the regular neutral eye look every now and then. And when I do, guys, there's nothing like, you know, having an easy breezy type palette to do that with. And I mean, one thing's for sure and two things for certain. You know, while he's not uh, inclusive, not at all. I mean, he has the bomb.com eyeshadow formula. So yeah, let me just uh, go ahead and swatch a couple of these very neutral, very uh, non-original shades right quick. Guys, I mean, this formula is just next level, guys. Okay, guys, here's what these shades look like. And what I have found with Marc Jacobs swatches is they're almost like Vizier swatches where they don't really swatch that nicely, but once you apply them to your lid, guys, yeah, they look amazing. So, yes, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I pulled the trigger because um, his iconic palettes were on sale, but then on sale at 20% off. Yeah. Your girl just had to get it. 
Okay, guys, the very next pop that I got was for no other reason than your girl Lily couldn't shake it. It's by Natasha Denona. I got the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. Guys, now, um, other than this one, I only, only have one more of her minis. Well, no, two more of her minis. I've got the Mini Zendo and the Mini Gold. But for some reason... I have been fighting purchasing this, purchasing this palette forever. I do recall that when I was going to her site to try and purchase this palette, this palette stayed sold out. So yeah, it's just something about me, guys, that, that really likes the color story of this palette. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. It looks like her mats, yeah, in this palette, they, they do lack a little bit of depth. But yeah, I mean... This is most definitely a retro palette. So let me just go ahead and swatch a couple of them for you right quick. Okay, guys, and here's what these shades look like. Okay, yeah. I'm quite impressed with those um, shimmers. And yeah, I'm sure that this will build up enough to the look that you're going for with this palette. So yeah, I mean... I'm glad I was able to get it at 20% off, and I'm glad it was in stock when I did, because it stayed sold out. So, yes, I got this. Okay, guys, the next palette that I have to show you is actually a highlight palette, and it's by Danessa Myricks. I got the Danessa Myricks Beauty Lightwork Palette. Guys, now... This comes in two. It's a light work. And I don't know what the second one's called, but it's for my deeper tone beauties. This is for my lighter tone beauties. And I actually saw Babs Beauty here on YouTube use it a little while back. And man, I I I had I, I wanted to pull the trigger at that time, but mm -mm. I was gonna wait for this um Sephora sales event. I definitely was gonna wait. So it has very nice packaging, guys. Has um Danessa Myrick symbol on the front. Let you know the name of the highlight palette on the back and all of the um deets. When you open up the palette, guys, it has a nice size mirror, okay? Like most high-end, you know, palettes do. And Danessa Myricks, in case you didn't know, is a black-owned brand. A woman black-owned brand at that so and when you open it up guys here are the shades guys this is beautiful so i can see this would definitely definitely lean for my um lighter or medium tone beauties and i feel like this one would probably be like a bronzer topper for me so, let me just go ahead and swatch a couple of these shades for you right quick. Oh, yeah, guys. And it's weird because you would think by looking at them straight on because you don't see glitz that they would be, like, powdery. But no. Not at all, guys. Not at all. So, this is what the highlights look like. Oh. Guys, do you see these shimmers? Do you see these highlights? These highlights look wet. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. I can't wait to get these on my face. Oh, yeah. These are nice. Woo! Yeah, guys. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to use this highlight palette. I might even put this highlight palette in my shop, my stash, because I'm just that excited. Oh, yeah. This looks luxe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glad I purchased this highlight palette, guys. Mm-hmm. I got this. Okay, guys, the very next palette that I have to show you is actually a blush palette, and it's by Artist Couture. I got the Artist Couture Love Sprung Palette. And I got mine in the shade six. Now, he actually has two different ones. One's, one for like my lighter tone beauties and one for my deeper tone beauties. So I got the lighter tone one. So it has a nice size mirror. First of all, guys, this packaging is so stinking cool. 
It's the same kind of packaging that you would find with his um eyeshadow palettes. And he does have an eyeshadow palette to go with this, but I elected not to get it because it reminds me a lot of the tie-dye four. So yeah, mm -mm. we're not doing that in 2021. So when you open it up, guys, it has a nice size mirror. It says artist couture on there. Oh yeah. Here are the shades, guys. And I really got it for this shade right here. It is something about like baby doll pinks that I really, really love. And if I can find a good one, I mean, I'm always on the hunt. And I also got it for this one too, because while this is a mob shade, this is like, you know, more of a, a wearable type of mob. So yeah. And this one, Eternal Flame. This would be definitely probably like a bronzer topper for me. I know I couldn't use it as a highlight. I mean, maybe I could use it as like a satiny type of blush. So let me just go ahead and swatch it for you right quick though. Okay, guys, it's a very smooth formula. I can tell that already. Okay, guys, here's what these shades look like. Okay, all right. If I'm um if I'm tanned a little bit, I probably could uh, wear this as a highlight though. Okay, guys, yes. While they do look pretty soft, I can tell they're buildable. But yeah, okay. These are cute. All right. Mm-hmm, yeah. I got this. Okay, guys, in the very last few palettes I'm going to show you guys, while a couple could have definitely been purchased on Savora's website, I actually got them off the Viziar website at 40% off. Um, the first one that I got is actually the Viziar Paris Love Letter Palette guys now i think this is available on the sephora website but i feel like of course it was available on the vizier website first and they were having a 40 percent off sale and i mean i lucked up because i did want that uh violet palette the e10 do palette the e10 day palette but it was sold out quick so this is what this one looks like it actually reminds me of the spritz edit packaging a little bit because of the color and then on the back it does say paris love ladder okay and then it folds open just like all of the other palettes do it has a mirror right here that's protected by pat um plastic mm -hmm. it has the protective covering over the shades okay and then when you open it up guys here's what these shades look like guys this is most definitely a pretty romantic spring palette. And it's something about that green. I mean, my eyes just gravitate toward it immediately. Yeah, this definitely, this definitely screams spring to me. So yes, let me just go ahead and cup, uh, swatch a couple of these shades for you right quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are some pretty shades, guys. Okay, guys, here's what these shades look like. And I'm only going to swatch one matte for you guys because, yeah, we already know. Mm -mm. These yards mattes, they swatch horribly, but they apply fantastically. Okay, guys, yes, these are definitely some pretty shimmers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, one thing about Viseart's um shades, th this can be built be built up. That can get much deeper, guys. So yeah, mm hmm. This is a cute palette. I think the regular price is forty four dollars, and I got this um at forty percent off. So yeah, your girl lucked up. Okay, guys, the second palette that I got can absolutely be purchased on the Sephora website. I got the Viseart Ming Set A10 Do Palette. Now, this one most definitely, mm -hmm, it looks like a spring palette, but it looks like a spring neutral palette, if you will. Okay, guys, and it also has very pretty packaging. And I'm not sure what this is that um is the design on it, but this is really cute. And it's just a little bit darker than the um, packaging on the Paris Love Letter palette. It says Mink Sadie Tend to on the back. And then here's what these shades look like. And I know when looking at it, you're probably thinking 
this is um nothing except the um warm edit palette but no these shades are most definitely different than um the warm edit because none of these really pull like orangey these are most definitely like coppers you know chocolates yeah more like that but i think it's cute i i would say this is like a softer version of the warm edit palette and here are what these shades look like yeah definitely more of a coppery bronzy moment oh yeah mm-hmm most definitely more like and you even have a little bit coral in there so yeah that's really cute oh yeah mm-hmm this is the bomb.com so far i mean a bonus watch so i got this okay guys the very last two palettes i'm gonna show you guys are actually petite pro palettes and i'm not really certain if they're on the sephora website i know they used to not be but again guys i'm not sure i got the viseart petite pro solstice palette and i got the viseart petite pro midsummer palette guys now these palettes are not new not at all guys they've been out for quite some time did i say they've been out for a year i'm not certain i'm not sure but i know that i have been really fighting getting them because i feel like they reminded me of some petite pro palettes that i already have in my collection now this one is the petite pro solstice palette and i feel like this kind of reminded me a little bit of shades in the Africa Teen palette, which is why I didn't get it. But upon looking at it a little more closely, yeah, this is not the Africa Teen palette. Not at all, guys. This is what the shades look like in this palette. And the Africa Teen palette, this is, this is, this is a straight on pink. And the Africa Teen palette is just that. It's more of an apricot type palette. None of it pulls pink in that palette. So let me just go ahead and swatch a couple of these shades for you right quick though. Oh, guys. That pink is special. That pink is a dual chrome. Oh, yes, guys. Do you see those shimmers? And do you see this shade right here? You see how it's like pink when you look at it like this. But as you shift it, you see that blue? Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. This is definitely not the Africa Teen palette because the Africa Teen does not have not one dual chrome. Yeah. It only has Uno chromes. So, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. This is the bomb.com. Yeah. I'm glad I purchased this palette for sure. Okay, guys. And this very last palette is actually the Midsummer palette. And I feel like this also is like a berry pink base palette and yes i would be right now this one this definitely does remind me of some shades in the um paris edit palette that i already have but guys one thing i can tell you about viseart when it comes to the petite pros and the edit palette yeah Mm -mm. you're very seldom if ever gonna find any repeat shades so yeah i know this is a different kind of palette but yeah let me just go ahead and swatch a few of these for you right quick oh guys oh guys we've got another dual chrome now this palette only has two shimmers this shade right here and this shade right here the rest are all matte Okay, guys, yes, yes. Oh, here you go, guys. Now, do you see how that's like a berry type of shade if you look at it from here? But as you see it shifting, guys, ooh, there goes a little bit more blue. And then it shifts on the purple, on the blue, and then on the berry. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. This palette is gorgeous, too. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, yeah. That's nice, guys. Okay. Okay, Viziar, I see you. I see you. Okay, guys. I came, I saw, and I come. Empty. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. I 
happy with every single thing I purchased from the Sephora event. And I can't wait to use them. So I really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today while I haul all my Sephora event goodies. Yeah. I always love connecting with you guys, my peeps. Every chance I get. Every chance I get. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It only gets great a lot of guys. It only gets great a lot of. So until next time, guys. Stay real. Stay positive. Stay up. And damn it, you better watch, fight, and pray.